Hey, it's you, Frank. Yeah, I can be there. Just give me half an hour. I thought you weren't coming. What were you doing? Sorry for being late, Frankie. I got distracted in taking some photos. I found some cool new patterns. By the way, can you pass by your dad's studio after seeing the movie? Don't worry. I'll deliver them to him to reveal them for you. And I'll give the photos back to you after school tomorrow. Thanks, Frankie. So what movie are you going to see anyway? I brought some snacks. It's called Crimson Ladder and it's Belgian. It's about a serial killer that leaves the fingerprints of his next victim on the crime scene. Mm. So, are you still anxious? Don't worry, Frankie, I'm fine. The thing is, you're not. You don't talk as much now. You're always taking those stupid photos. And all of that because of university? <sighs> Calm your shit, man. It's easy for you to talk, Frankie. For an horror movie, it is your thing. But guess what? I don't have a thing. Oh, yes you have. You have maths. You love math. It's as simple as that. It's not as simple as that, Frankie, but whatever, dude. I'm not really in the mood to see the movie anyways. See you tomorrow at school. Numbers won't get you anywhere. It's a waste of time. I'm not good enough. I know I'm not good enough. It's a waste of time. Numbers won't catch you anywhere. I'm not good enough. I know I'm not good enough. Numbers won't catch you anywhere. I'm not good enough. I know I'm not good enough. Numbers won't catch you anywhere. I'm not good enough. I know I'm not It's a waste of time. Bye. Hey, Tom. Come away, Frankie. I'm sorry for yesterday. I was a little bit too aggressive with you. No, it was my fault. I overreacted a little bit. It was first Sunday in three years we didn't see another movie together. Yeah, it was shitty anyway. The plot had more holes than a Swiss cheese. Sophie's mother called. She wanted to know if I'm available to teach Sophie man. That's great, man! I haven't talked to her in ages. Is she still addicted to music? Well, I really have no idea, but why would her mother pick me to teach Sophie math? Because you are a super math genius, Tom. Don't deny it. Shut up, Frankie. I've told you several times already. Not even smart, I just study. Yeah, right. Oh, I almost forgot. Here are the photos you asked for. Thanks, Frankie. So how much do I owe you? Well, consider them a friend's gift. Just pay me. Why are you always taking them? 
What do you see in those ordinary objects? They seem dull to me. Uh, they are not dull. So, do you see these ramps? Do you see how they form a nice parabola? Yeah. And the same with this bridge. Uh-huh. And in this flower you can see this Fibonacci sequence. It's great, isn't it? It's geeky, that's what. Well, not to me. I should probably get going. I need to go to Sophie's house. So tell her I accept the offer. Yeah, I should go too. I have screenplay homework to do. Let's go. Yeah, give me an hand, please. Ugh. Bullshit. Everyone listens to music, t -Bot. Nuns call me that since primary school. I didn't even think you'd remember that. Of course I do. We were best pals back in the day. <laughs> so what are you struggling with, Sophie? Um, I don't quite know how to do primitives. Ah, yeah. Do you think you could help me with that? Yeah, of course. They are quite simple, but you need to work to understand them. Okay. So, do you remember taking Derivatives last semester? Yeah, a little bit, I guess. Yeah, they are quite the same. So, as you can see in this function, we have x and y, and mm -hmm. sine of x plus the sine of y. Yes. And this is why you can say the function is injective. Did you get it? Sophie. Sophie. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sophie, it's your man. What? You used to call me t -Bot, And I used to call you Sophie Germain. Germain? What Germain? Because Sophie Germain was a mathematician who tried to prove her math last theorem. She always found her place in the scientific world ruled by men. But now she was looked down on for being a woman. And you always reminded me of her. Because you always know what your place in the world is. Well, I should probably get going. It's already late. Yeah, it's okay. Do you need help? Hello? Hi, Tom. It's Sophie. Um, I was just wondering if you're busy right now. No, no. I was just finishing my homework, but I'm free. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to meet then? Because I want to show you something. I was thinking about what she said the other day about me always knowing what to do. But that's not true, Tom. I don't want to go to college. I just... I just want to travel around the world and meet new people, discover new songs. But that's not an option for my parents. Things yeah. are a little bit blurred for me at the moment. Yeah, I know what you mean. I don't know what to do with my future either. That's why I brought you here. This is where I come whenever I feel like that. It just puts things into perspective, you know, all those houses and when you imagine the people living in them and the problems they're facing, it just sort of calms you down and makes you feel as though your problem isn't as important anymore. Well, I never thought about it like that. I always thought no one would actually understand the difficulties I have in choosing what to do in my future. Life's shitty, Tom. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, I brought something for you. My favorite record. And don't tell me you don't listen to music. Everybody does. Thanks. I brought you something too. You did? Yeah. It's my favorite picture of us. Oh. <laughs> That's me on the left. 
Frank on the right, and you in the middle. Wow, I didn't even know this existed. Plus, it has sunflowers. I really like sunflowers. They are the perfect example of the Fibonacci sequence. You can look okay. at that picture whenever you feel lost whilst traveling the world. I want you to know you can always come back home. Wow, well, I don't know what to say, Tom. That's very thoughtful of you. Thanks. Okay, I'll do that if you promise you'll give that record a listen when you decide what to do about your future. We okay. have a deal? Yeah, we have a deal. I just wanna 